LEGO games, they always have big, big character rosters. I mean, we have literally had characters from everywhere, parts of the Caribbean, Marvel, Harry Potter, Doctor Who in LEGO Dimensions, and now we have Star Wars with 380 characters, and they are some disappointing ones, and that's what we're going to be looking at today. Well, let's have a fancy title card for this one. We're going to be looking at the top 10 most disappointing characters in the new LEGO Star Wars game. And I tell you what, I feel like playing the Jurassic Park theme, so let's cue the music. Hello, hello, hello there, guys. I'm Rugged Eagle, and welcome to Rugged Eagle Park. I know, I know, I know. You've come here to look at the top 10 most disappointed characters, and I'm here singing Jurassic Park. But hey, if you did go to enjoy it, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe, or if you go to enjoy the video. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into it. I don't know what that little pathetic cough was. That's pathetic. Or should I say disappointed? Anyway, coming in at number 10 on our most disappointed characters is Boba Fett and Jango Fett, both the Fets. Let me explain. Now, there is nothing wrong with the characters and the voice lines. Well, actually, Boba Fett's voice lines aren't the best because obviously it's not Tim Boba Morrison, but Jango Fett's voice lines are top notch, except from how they didn't give him his sound effect for his blaster. Like, hey, what's all that about? Now, that was one of the best things in LEGO Star Wars 3 when you unlock Jango Fett and you got to listen to them absolutely beautiful blasters. Here, have a listen. And that, my friends, is the sound of heaven. Now, in all seriousness, though, the main reason why both the Fets are here at number 10 on the list is because of their jetpack. It is so iconic to these characters, and it just pulls them down so much because the jetpack doesn't work as well as I want it to. Now, yes, there's always people who are like, it will cheat the game because you can use it to get across many ledges and do many puzzles very easily, but... It's a Lego game, <laughs> you're here for fun, you know what I mean? And to be fair, the jetpack does work really well in some scenarios to help you out in puzzles, and I do like hovering and firing, I just wish it lasted a bit longer, it literally lasts around 3 seconds, and if it lasted a bit longer, these two wouldn't be on the list, but here they are on the disappointing characters. And it mainly is because of the jetpack, I see myself playing Django Fett quite frequently in this game, and he's one of my favourite bounty hunters in the game, I love him to bits, but the jetpack just lets him down, so that's why they're on it. Anyway, let's move on to number 9. Now, at number 9 is one of the two DLC characters on this list, and that is IG-11 from the Mandalorian Season 1 pack. Now, the main reason for this is because IG-11 and IG-88 are literally the same. IG-11 is just a reskin. Now, to say this DLC pack does cost you some real-life shekels, you do get your money's worth with Mandalorian and Grogu. This is the way. But what isn't the way is how IG-11 is simply just a reskin, and he doesn't really use a long rifle in the show all too much. He normally dual wields in the show, and I'm surprised they didn't give him dual wielding capabilities, so he does stand out compared to IG-88. And that's why he's a little bit disappointing. So, swooping its way into number 8 is a really strange name, and that is Figrin Dan. Hey, 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 you can't take the mick out of Figrin Dan, because he made the amazing song. Oh, we all love Dan. We love you, Dan. I mean, mate, you haven't aged a single day from all the way back in the Complete Saga days doing the Cantina song, and now you're still at it, buddy. Good on you. Except from they've taken away his musical capabilities. This is outrageous, it's unfair, because some of my favourite characters in LEGO games are those who dance and sing around, such as Black Knight in LEGO Marvel 2 walking around playing your guitar. Or Harley Quinn with her jukebox playing Hit Me With Your Best Shot, an absolutely fantastic song, and they've taken this away from figuring Dan. If he could literally play the cantina music, he would be one of the best characters in this game. But unfortunately, he can't. Anyway, going somewhere so low, coming in at number 7, is Greedo. Now, for me, in this game, Greedo lacks very little personality because he doesn't have any voice lines in the game. And to say he's such an iconic character because a lot of people do know Greedo because he was in the first ever Star Wars film. And obviously, who shot first, Han or Greedo? And it's funny to me how Pondo, Baba, and Dr. Everzan do have voice lines and more personality than Greedo and it's a real shame. And I think what makes it so disappointing is how Greedo is such an iconic character and he didn't get any voice lines and he doesn't even have any voice lines in the story. It's a real shame and that's why it's a little bit disappointing. Now, singing her way into number six, well, actually not singing because this character has no capabilities of singing, 
yet she sings all the time, and that is Sai Snootles. And actually, let me just begin with, the quest to unlock Sai Snootles is an absolute pain. Oh. When you're walking around Coruscant having to mind trick everyone to get them into the circle to dance for Sai Snootles, having to listen to her voice, and then you have to do it three times. Oh. And then you unlock her and she's an absolute disappointment. <laughs> now, fair enough, they did give the character voice lines, but Sai Snootles cannot sing in this game, and that is her entire thing, to sing. Now, you may enjoy Sai Snootles singing, or you might not enjoy it, but it would be amazing to have the option to allow her to sing as a character, because that is literally her entire thing, and she falls under the same problem as figuring down. There is no musical characters in this game, and it doesn't really do her any justice when she's got one of the most annoyingest quests in the game and you unlock her and it's like it's a bit disappointing isn't it anyway moving on to number five is grand moff talking and he does not appear in the story at all which is you know a bit of a problem now to say they just took away grand moff talking out of the story i really did enjoy episode four in this game and i thought that one of the best episodes in the game alongside the entirety of the original trilogy the original trilogy is top stuff now, to say Grand Moff Tarkin isn't in the story, they went to add him in as a character, and you would expect something from him, but he's very, very bland. Now, 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 I am aware that Grand Moff Tarkin is an old man who literally fires a laser out of a Death Star. I am aware of that. So, obviously, I'm not expecting him to transform into Red Hulk or anything like that. Mind you, that would be a cool ability if he, like, fires a little mini laser out of a Death Star with a remote. That would be a cool ability. But Grand Moff Tarkin has nothing like that, and he is very similar to a lot of the other officers. To say he's the Grand Moff Tarkin, you would expect him to have something unique about it, or voice lines, for example. Now, Tarkin doesn't even have any idle animations, and I am aware there's 380 characters in this game, so they've done an amazing job with most of the characters. But for the main pivotal characters such as Greedo and Tarkin, I expected them to have a little bit more to help them shine above the others, but... Hey. Now, I just had to throw this one on this list because I'm really disappointed how he didn't appear in the story and he's a bit of a disappointing character too, so I think he deserves a spot on this list. Anyway, brushing its way into number four, that is a bit of a strange metaphor for that one, is the worst DLC character in this game. And it's kind of scandalous how he's even a character. And that's Echo. And that really did hurt my soul to say this one, but Echo in this game is very poorly done. Now, Echo is a part of the Bad Batch DLC pack and he's literally just shadowed over by Hunter because Hunter is the exact same, but even better because he has his unique electric knife. And it just makes it like, what is the point of being Echo when you have Hunter who's the same character with just extra stuff added on top? There is no real use to being Echo. I'm sorry to say that, Echo. Now, in my opinion, they could have simply have placed Echo within the extra class and maybe give him abilities to access droid panels and astromech panels and make him more adapted to how he is in the show. Now, some of you may be sat there thinking, well, what about Wrecker? Wrecker is the exact same. Well, not exactly, because Wrecker's fire rate is sped up with his blaster, so he does fire a lot quicker, which does make him a bit funner than Echo. Now, to say the Bad Batch DLC pack only has five characters, you really only have four characters, because what is the point in Echo when you have Hunter? Anyway, now moving into our final three, and coming in at number three is Max Rebo. Now, Max Rebo in this game has an absolute amazing voice. Now, it doesn't take a genius. I'm sure you all know where I'm going to go with this one. Max Rebo in this game cannot play any instrument. It's Max Rebo. I mean, come on, I want to be like Elton John in Star Wars and just start blasting tunes away. And that's why Max Rebo's this high up on the list, because I absolutely love Max Rebo. Who doesn't? And that's why he disappointed me when he couldn't play any music, and that's why he's at number three. Right then, waddling its way into number two is one of the most strangest characters in a LEGO game, and I really expected them to do something amazing with this character, and that is Gonkati. And I remember how this character was announced before the game came out, and we haven't seen the character, so we're all thinking, is it like a Palpatine gonk droid? And then we finally get the character, and it's just a red gonk droid. And it's such a funny concept and a very unique one, and they could have gave him like a red lightsaber or made him like a Sith gonk droid or Palpatine in a gonk droid. And it's just a red gonk droid. It was, 
very disappointing. And it's such a shame because this could have been one of the greatest characters in a LEGO game, a gonk droid with a lightsaber that can dash and shoot lightning like Palpatine. Imagine that. But anyway, it is time to move on to the number one spot for the most disappointing character in this game. And he's actually the hardest character to unlock in some sort of a way. And that is the wandering Wookiee. Now, we all remember Stan Lee in the LEGO Marvel games having to get all the Stan Lee in perils or Deadpool. And the wandering Wookiee is pretty much in essence this for the Skywalker saga. And he's literally just a reskin of Chewbacca. And that is pretty much all I have to say about the wandering Wookiee. To say he's meant to be the Stan Lee of this game in some sort of way, it's, well, I'm going to say it again disappointing. But anyway, thank you for watching today's video. If you did go to enjoy, please feel free to subscribe and go to drop a like. And if you want to check out any other LEGO game videos or LEGO Stars of Skywalker Saga videos from me, there will be a playlist at the end. Anyway, hope you'll have a fan dabby dozy week and I'll see you all in a bit. Adios.